The UK has voted to leave the European Union. Let June the 23rd go down in our history as our independence day. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. I know because we're Great Britain that we will rise to the challenge. Brexit means Brexit means Brexit means Brexit. So here it is. Uh, Six pages. The notification from Prime Minister Theresa May. We want a new they have to pay. I, I, they have to pay. We can risk no Brexit at all, or we can choose, or we can choose to unite and support the best deal that can be negotiated. We will now not leave on time with a deal. Do we want more dither and delay? I'd rather be dead in a ditch. And so here we are, more than three years on from that referendum, and the UK flag continues to hang at the seat of power in the European Union. Three British Prime Ministers have grappled with Brexit, and now a third extension may well be on the cards, as Prime Minister Boris Johnson makes his first appearance here in Brussels. Let's get Brexit done, and let's bring this country together. Thank you very much. It's the pledge which propelled him to power and the deadline now just two weeks away. But as final preparations begin here, the best way Boris Johnson can keep his word is by delivering that Brexit deal. He wants rid of the Irish backstop. But you know what? Rather frustrated European leaders have been asking him, what are you going to replace it with? This deadlock is a British deadlock, it's not a European deadlock. We need more than just words. And we'll always stay open to proposals uh, from the British government, but like I say, I want to actually see them in writing first. We are willing to listen to ideas if and when the UK government is ready to put them on the table. But earlier this month, Boris Johnson showed his hand. In a letter to the EU, he called for a fair and reasonable compromise. But what precisely is fair and reasonable? Remember, for Brussels, protecting the single market and the customs union is paramount. For Boris Johnson, it's all about trying to get a deal he can sell back home. But if compromise is beyond reach, it now looks like a third extension is all but inevitable. It is something that the British Prime Minister has vowed he will never do. But boxed in by the Ben Bill, he may well have no choice to rule out no deal at the end of this month. Hi, good to see you. Looking out for the white smoke, indicating a deal, is Sir Jonathan Fall, a former senior British official in Brussels. It's only very recently that the British have begun to do what uh, the Europeans asked them to do, which was to say, if you don't like the backstop that we've all agreed to, uh, what else can you do which meets the same objectives? Uh, and here we are two weeks away uh, from the deadline, essentially, and we're beginning to see ideas, but they're only ideas. They're not ideas that have been tested, tried out on the ground and so on. So time is very tight. It's unprecedented. Nobody's done this before. But you no doubt this summit is a make or break moment. Stakes are high, patience is running low. And for this Brexit process, it feels that we're getting towards the end of the roads.